Hey, it's Sean from P2R. Today I have our alternator relocation kit for the first generation J-Series engines. This kit's gonna come with three billet pieces, belt, and all the hardware necessary for install. This kit is for the first generation J-Series, such as uh, J32A2, J35A4. This is not gonna work on any of the newer stuff, but we're gonna jump right in and get this installed on an engine right now. So the first thing I recommend doing is taking um, pretty much what's obvious. So we're gonna take this lower bracket and we're gonna put that aside. And these are the two um, bigger M10 bolts that are gonna go for that. So I'm gonna get those placed there. I'll bring this bracket over and I can tell just by visually looking that these two um, small bolts are gonna go there. So I'll get that position. This uh, countersunk bolt is gonna sit about right there. We will start to install and we'll figure out where the rest of the hardware goes. All right, so the first piece I'm bringing over is the actual lower bracket that's gonna hold the alternator in place. We got two threaded holes on the block here that's gonna be used for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, catch threads a little bit. All right, so before we can install the bracket that's gonna bolt onto the oil pump, we need to go ahead and remove the, the oil dipstick tube out of the way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this number 10 out of here. It's kind of long. And um, it's still kind of in the way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and if you wiggle this, it has an O-ring and it comes right out just like that. All right, so for this bracket on the back, we have a six point uh, hex on the back here. And that's actually designed for us to go ahead and slip the nut to sit right in there. So we wanna make sure we put that in place before we uh, put this up against the block. All right, so now that that's there, I'm gonna take my two Allens, bring my gun. Just when you slide on the block, just make sure that nut stays in there. So I'll just use my finger until I get it in place. And then I'll go ahead and bring my first Allen. Get that lined up, and then I'll bring my other one. Get that in place. All right. And we got one more bolt here which is a uh, countersunk. That's gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more support and hold this bracket to the oil pump good. This one is gonna use a smaller Allen head, which is gonna be a four millimeter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that in. All right, so for the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and bring our alternator over along with our longest bolt that comes with the kit and the other nut. Just like the bracket on the oil pump, this is actually designed to hold the nut in place there. Press this bolt down and slide the alternator in place. Once that alternator is in place, I'm gonna take this bolt and screw it into that nut. So I'm just kind of holding, using my knee to hold the alternator in place. Now that that's uh, threaded through into that nut, this alternator can literally just suspend here. Essentially, it's gonna rotate up like this, and our last bracket is gonna hold the alternator in place here. So before I actually do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just rest it down, and I'm gonna bring over the alternator belt. So I'm gonna slide my belt over, I'm gonna rotate this up into place and just kinda of rest that there like that. So that's essentially what it would look like. But what we have to do now is this um, is slotted, which is gonna allow for us to basically, once we tighten it up, based on how much tension we need for our belt when we put it together. So it looks like we're gonna to have to use the longer M8 bolt through the top. So I'm gonna grab the washer, put that on there like that. I'm gonna slide this through, put that through our alternator, and 
put a nut on the back side. All right, with that tightened up, the last bolt in the kit that we have is gonna be this bolt. Go ahead, put a washer on there. And rotate that up. And that nut that we put on the inside of this oil pump bracket, essentially, that's gonna be for there. So all you're pretty much gonna do is pull this out as, as far as you need and tighten up this bolt, tighten up that bolt, make sure everything is tight, and then you're gonna have your alternator tension and pretty much ready to go and installed. So one thing I didn't take account for when um, filming this video today, this uh, motor has the ATI super dampener, and this is actually a smaller diameter than the factory crank pulley. So the belt that we include with the kit is actually gonna be a little bit too loose for this one. So even with this all the way rotated out, our belt's still a little bit loose. That will not be the case when you're running a factory crank pulley. So if you're running a super damper, you, you do need a shorter belt than what comes with the kit. Before we wrap this install up, we do have to remember to go ahead and install our dipstick tube back into place. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the T2R alternator relocation kit for the first generation J-Series engines. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel to reach out to us at powerrevracing.com or on any of our social media platforms, Power Rev Racing. I'll see you guys again soon.